so bcd arithmetic uh, we want to know because we have to write a program for the addition of bcd number as well as subtraction of bcd number so how this uh, addition operation and the subtraction operation of bcd numbers are being done because these number are different from the hexadecimal numbers so <clears throat> how so first of all it is better to understand that what is the meaning of bcd addition and how it is being done now we have three cases which we have to go through before we write the program because these are the three cases which will be working for <coughs> for the correct programming schedule of the bcd addition the first case uh with the bcd addition is suppose we are adding two bcd numbers and we find that sum is equal to 9 or less than 9 and carry is not being generated uh, we know that bcd numbers are from 0 to 9 and onward and after that all the numbers are invalid if we represent 0 bcd number in the form of binary it will be represented at 0000 if it is 9 it is 01 1001 and after 1001 there are other combinations also but rest of the combinations after 1001 are invalid in bcd <clears throat> so let us now consider that we have two numbers 6 and 3 and we have to add these two numbers so the bcd corresponding to 6 is 0110 and corresponding to 3 is 0011 and whenever we are going to add these two number we will be getting 1001 so 6 plus 3 we are getting 9 so addition is done and we are getting the result in the form of a 9 that is bcd of 9 that is 1001 so <clears throat> this is just the case of the normal binary addition which we used to do and we are getting a sum 1001 which is a bcd code for the 9 so this is the very clear cut case when the we are going to add two bcd numbers and we are getting a sum which is either 9 or less than 9 but what happens for the next cases other cases suppose we are getting uh, we are adding two bcd numbers and we are getting the sum which are greater than 9 and so the carry is not being generated so what will happen with that suppose we are adding 6 and 8 so the bcd corresponding to 6 is 0110 and bcd corresponding to 8 will be 1000 so we will be getting a sum that is equal to 1110 but this 1110 is invalid bcd number because the sum is greater than 9 we are getting sum as 14 and 14 can be represented in the form of a binary number 1110 but this cannot be represented in the bcd form so what we have to do we have to change the specification which we have got in the form of a result that is 1110 and the bcd addition says that if you are getting if you are adding two bcd numbers and you are getting the sum as more than decimal 9 then what you have to do you have to add decimal 6 since in this particular case decimal 14 or corresponding to binary <coughs> it is 1110 it is an invalid bcd number <coughs> so which is going to exceed the uh, digit 9 so whenever this type of thing occurs we are to make it correct to represent in the bcd number so we have to add decimal 6 that is 01110 so whenever we are adding the result which we have got is 1110 and we are adding now 0110 that is the addition of decimal 6 for the correction purpose and when we are doing this we are adding 0 and 0 we are getting 0 we we'll get 1 and 1 added we are getting 0 with one carry so 1 1 1 will result one again one carry one one and zero again carry 
and the carry will be generated on the as the <coughs> most significant bit so whenever we are getting a carry in the form of a most significant bit that bit is represented in the form of four bit and that bit will be 0001 so it means instead of one nibble we are getting two nibbles now this is representing one and this is representing four so this is actually the uh, binary number whose decimal is equivalent to one four but whenever it, we are representing in the form of a bct number this is not the correct number but the correct number will be four as zero one one zero and one as zero 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 one with the two nibbles so after the addition of decimal six in the lower nibble carry is being produced in the second decimal position and it is considered as a most significant bit and whenever it is considered as a most significant bit so it will be represented in the form of a four bit as zero 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 one so zero 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 one will be representing one and zero one one zero one zero zero will be representing four so this is the second case the third case is it may be possible that whenever we are adding two numbers and we are getting some which is greater than nine as well as we are getting a carry as in this case if we add eight and nine whenever we are adding eight and nine we are getting 17 and you know 17 it is a decimal number but whenever it is represented in the form of a hexadecimal number it will be one zero it will not be 17. So that is why it is uh, the BCD of eight is one zero zero zero, BCD of nine is one zero zero one. So we are getting, we are adding this, so we're getting one zero zero one one zero, and a carry is generated. Now this is again a incorrect BCD result because the sum is more than nine. So what we have to do, we have to add decimal six again. But this decimal six will be added in the lower nibble. So in this case also, since the result is this one, which is an invalid BCD number, but is it, it is it is uh, it is a valid BCD number, but it is the result is incorrect. So to get get the correct BCD number, because what we actually want one should be represented as zero 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 one, and seven should be represented in the form of a z one 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 zero one one one. So for that purpose, whatever we have got in the form of a BCD eight and BCD nine, we add it, we get the same result, but we have to add decimal six for the correction purpose. So we are adding decimal six in that. So what will happen? One will become one, zero and one, one, zero and one, one, zero, 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 one, zero, one, zero, 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 zero. So we are getting now 0001 as representing one and zero triple one, which is representing 17. So, so we have now three cases. In one case, we have the sum which is less than or equal to nine and no carry. Second case is the sum is greater than nine with no carry. And third case is sum is more than nine decimal nine and carries also generated. So it means considering these three cases, anyhow, we have to write the program for the addition of the BCD number. So we have to consider all these three cases while writing the program for the addition of BCD number. So how before we go to write the program and conceive a concept of writing the bcd addition program we must have to follow certain procedure let us go through that procedure what will be the procedure of writing the program the summary of these three cases are that that when we add two bcd numbers using ordinary binary addition process normally we used to do it if the four bit sum is equal to or less than nine, no correction is required, and some will be considered as the proper BCD form, which was the case one. So if we are getting, we are adding two BCD numbers and the four bit sum is equal to or less than nine, then we need not to do any kind of correction. We have to, whatever we are getting in the form of a sum, 
that is called in the proper BCD form. But if the four bit sum is greater than nine, whether the carry is generated or it is not generated from this four bit sum, the sum is said to be invalid. And to make this sum invalid to valid, we have to add decimal six. Decimal six, whenever we say, it means we have to add 0, 1, 1, 0 into that to the four bit sum. If a carry is going to result uh, from the addition, then we are considering it as the higher order BCD digit, that is MSB, considering a by, by equating 0, 0, 0 in, uh, before that. So whenever uh, the sum is invalid, uh, and some will be invalid when the sum will be greater than decimal nine, then we are going to add decimal six, that is zero one one zero. And with that addition, it may be possible that carry may be generated or carry may not be generated. If a carry is being generated by the addition of decimal six into the result, which is incorrect, then we have to consider that carry bit as a separate MSB bit by uh, attaching 000, 000 before that. So it means that will be instead of four bit, it will be represented from the two four bit digit. Now this process of doing the addition of decimal six uh, and considering the carry as carry bit as the next nibble, this is being done by, by a certain instruction, which is used in 8085. And that instruction is called DAA instruction, whose full form is decimal adjust accumulator instruction. And the purpose of using this decimal adjust accumulator instruction is to adjust the result, whatever invalid result has been found to make it correct by adding decimal six into that. So this is the instruction DA, which automatically first finds whether the sum is more than nine or not. If the sum is more than nine, it will be going to add decimal six in it automatically. And then the uh, BCD numbers are adjusted and we are able to get the correct result. So let us now find out that what is the functionality of the instruction, which is known as DAI instruction, decimal adjust accumulator. This is an inst instruction, which is a special instruction whose purpose is to do adjustment of the BCD sum. And it is available in the 8085 instruction set. Now the purpose of using this instruction is to use, it, it uses auxiliary carry flag. Now, till now, the auxiliary carry flag has not been explained to you. You know only sign flag, zero flag, parity flag, and uh, carry flag. And there is one more flag, which is known as auxiliary carry flag. Now, this auxiliary carry flag is different from the rest of the four flags because auxiliary carry flag is not available for the user to check it. It is, the, it is the flag which is used by 8085 internally just to check whether the decimal, whether the sum of the two BCD numbers are greater than nine or not. Whenever we got the sum greater than decimal nine, the auxiliary carry flag is going to set. <clears throat> and it is the indicator which will be giving the indication that the sum which we have got after the addition of two numbers has de the result more than decimal nine. So it is used internally by the uh, microprocessor itself and it cannot be accessed by the user itself. User cannot use it. It is used internally by the microprocessor. So what this instruction used to do, it used to check, it used to sense, it used to verify whether the auxiliary carry flag has been set or not. If that result is more than decimal nine, auxiliary carry flag will be definitely set. And if it is so, it is going to adjust the BCD value by adding decimal six. Similarly, 
it uses carry flag to adjust the msb four bit <clears throat> so meaning thereby this instruction is a one byte instruction and its purpose is to check whether the auxiliary carry flag has been set or not which will be the indication that the sum which we have got is more than decimal 9 or not if the result is more than decimal 9 then auxiliary carry flag will be set so it will be by sensing the status of the auxiliary carry flag it will be adding decimal 6 automatically this addition of decimal 6 which is being done by the instruction da automatically to make invalid result to a valid result and it uses two flags it uses auxiliary carry flag as well as it uses the carry flag to adjust the uh, msb for bit <clears throat> so uh, the purpose of da is to uh, adjust the 8 bit uh, number which is uh, the result in the accumulator and that is why it is written that decimal adjust accumulator it means the result which is stored in the accumulator has to be adjusted according to that its decimal value decimal value whenever we say it is the binary coded decimal value so it is adjusting the accumulator value decimal for in the decimal form so that is why it is called decimal adjust accumulator it uses carry flag it uses auxiliary carry flag and uh, after the execution of this instruction the all flags are going to be affected so let us now go and uh, and try to see uh, how to write a program for the addition of two bcd numbers two digit bcd numbers now the problem says that we have to add two digit bcd numbers which is available at the two different memory locations 2200 and 2201 and we have to store the result at 2300 suppose the memory location 2200 is uh, having the number 39 and 2201 is having the number 45 so 39 and 45 so what will happen when we add 39 and 45 actually we will be getting the result 7e and whenever we are getting the result in the form of a 7e e represents decimal 14 and it is more than 9 so automatically the auxiliary carry flag will be set so we have to use an instruction by which we are able able to add decimal 6 into that and whenever we are adding decimal 6 into that we will be getting a result in the form of 84 so 9 5 9 5 if we add 9 and 5 we will be getting 14 so there will be one carry and 3 4 7 and one carry so we will be getting the result in the form of 84 so whenever we are adding these two decimal numbers 39 and 45 we are getting we have to get the result 84 but in general whenever we are using 3 9 and 4 5 7 e is the correct value of the addition but 7 e is the correct value whenever we consider that 3 9 is a hexadecimal number and 4 5 is a hexadecimal number then 7 e as a hexadecimal number the sum is correct but when we consider that these two values are bcd values 39 and 45 are bcd values so the result which we should get should also be in the form of a bcd so 7e that is why whenever we got e it means it is more than decimal 9 so we have to add 6 and while adding 6 this is called adjustment of the bit addition of 6 is called the adjustment of the bit and this adjustment can be done by sensing the microprocessor by whenever microprocessor is going to sense whether the auxiliary carry flag is set or not by using an instruction that is known as da instruction so whenever we add 7e with 6 decimal 6 we will be getting 14 so that will be 84 is the correct addition value of 39 and 45 so the lower nibble which is greater than 9e so we have to add 6 so when e is added with 6 we will be getting 4 
and one carry is generated so carry will be added with 7 so we will be getting 84 so how to write the program for that so the first number is available in 2200 so first of all pointer is initialized in the hl pair then the first number that is 39 is copied in accumulator and then the hl pair is incremented by one so that hl pair will become 2201 and 2201 is also having 45 now we are going to add m what this instruction will do it will add the content of memory with the content of accumulator accumulator contains 39 and the memory which memory memory whose address is present in the hl pair now the address which is present in the hl pair before add m instruction is 2201 So twenty two zero one contains forty five. So forty five is going to be added with thirty nine, and then we use simple instruction that is da. So what this da instruction will do? It will convert the result in a valid BCD number. How? The with the previous process which has been explained by adding decimal six into that, and then getting the result. So this da will first check. will allow the microprocessor to check whether the auxiliary carry flag has been set or not if auxiliary carry flag is set then it will add decimal 6 into that and after doing that the content of the accumulator will be adjusted previously it was 7e now 6 has been added by using this instruction da so it will become 84 so now it is our duty to store the result that is 84 which is available in the accumulator to a certain memory location that is 2300 so this instruction is going to store the content of accumulator at the memory location 2300 and it is going to store the result and the program is terminated now uh, with this two digit bcd addition now we move ahead for the four digit bcd numbers if <clears throat> there are four digit bcd numbers then how uh, the program will work to adjust the sum now we have to add four digit bcd number now four digit bcd number which will be used in the stored in the hl uh, register pair so suppose hl pair and d pair registers are used for that and we have to store the result into in the two consecutive memory location 2300 and 2301 and we have to ignore the carry bit after the 16 bit so we have hl pair as an example 3629 and d pair contains 4738 so first of all the content of l and content of e will be added means 29 will be added with 31 38 So whenever nine and eight will be added, it will be seven, and two and three will be added, it will be five. So when considering twenty-nine as a hexadecimal number and thirty-eight as a hexadecimal number, then twenty-nine and thirty-eight, nine and eight, seventeen. So it means it will become one, and two, three, it will become six. But whenever we add nine and eight, the auxiliary carry flag will be set to one. so what we have to do we have to add 06 into that so that it will become 61 plus 06 that will become 67 and 67 is the correct bcd value of the sum 29 and 38 what is step number 2 then we add 36 and 47 as well as after adding 36 and 27 we have to consider that addition of 29 and 30 had 38 has created any carry or not since it has not created any carry so we will not add the carry bit but if 29 and 38 addition has created a carry that will be added with the sum of 36 and 47 so 36 and 47 is now added with zero which is the carry of the lsb of the addition of 28 29 and 38 so since no lsb no carry so it will add zero so 36 plus 47 and with this carry bit we this will be equal to 7d 7d why it is 7d because 6 and 7 13 13 
can be represented in hexadecimal as D and three and four, seven, so 70. Now the lower nibble D is more than decimal nine. So it's again going to check the auxiliary carry flag. And then since it is greater than nine, it will add decimal six into that. So 70 plus 06, it will be getting 83. So the result will be 8367. Now, how this program will work. First of all, we copy the content of L register into the accumulator because L register contains 29 and we are putting it into the accumulator. And then E register contains 38. So what we are, we are going to add E. So content of E that is 38 is added with 29 and the result will be stored in the form of a 61 into the accumulator. And since 61, which we are we have got is the lower nibble is more than six, uh, decimal nine auxiliary carry frag has set. So what it will do, it will use the instruction dot. It will adjust the result to the valid BCD by adding 06. And the result will be stored in the accumulator. So the result which have been stored in the accumulator is 67. It is better to store that result, partial result to somewhere else in the memory location 2300. Now we copy the content of H that is 36. And then we add, then we add the content of D that is 47 with 36. Now here the instruction which has been used is ADCD. Now ADCD, ADC instruction is different from add instruction. Add instruction, A double D instruction used to add the content of the register with the content of accumulator. But the ADC instruction is going to add the content of D register with the content of accumulator along with the carry. If the carry bit is set, so one will be added. If carry bit is zero, zero will be added. That is what we have done here. So ADC, it is going to add two, two most significant digits along with the carry bit. And once it is being done, again, it will be going to check whether the auxiliary carry flag is set because the lower nibble is having more than decimal line. So we will be using the instruction to adjust the result into the valid BCD form by adding decimal six into that so that it will become 83. And then we store the result that is 83 into 2301 and we'll hold the or terminate the program. So this is how we are, this is how we are going to write the program for addition of two digit BCD number and four digit BCD number. So this is all about the addition process of BCD number. Let us go for the BCD subtraction. When two BCD numbers are subtracted, we can use the instruction for adjusting the result to the BCD. And that's why the subtraction of two BCD numbers are carried by using tens complement and the hundreds complement. You have heard about ones complement and twos complement. So in case of BCD subtraction, we will be using a method that is known as tens complement and hundreds complement. Now tens complement and the hundreds complement is very much similar to the twos complement. Because when we take 99's complement of any decimal number, and if we add one, that will become 100's complement. Similarly, if we take 9's complement of any number, decimal number, and if we add one, it will be 10's complement. So 100's complement is equal to 99 complement plus one. And 99's complement of a number can be found by subtracting the number from 99. When you are, we are subtracting the number from 99, we will suppose what is the 99's complement of 45? 99's complement of 45. So what do you have to do? You have to subtract 45 from the 99. So you, whatever result you will be getting 55, that will be the 99's complement. What is the one's complement of zero? One's complement of zero is one minus zero. That is equal to one. What is the two's complement of zero? One's complement of zero is one, add one. So that it will be zero. 
so whenever we take complements 99 complements means we have to subtract the number from the 99 and then we have to add one so that we will be getting hundreds complement so how bcd subtraction are being done it is containing two processes two steps one is find the 19 uh, hundreds complement of a subtrahend and add two numbers using the bcd addition that is the bcd b uh, da instruction so this is the uh, uh, program for that first of all uh, subtract the bcd number is stored in e register from the number stored in the d register there is two number e register mein hai and second one is in d register you have to subtract the content of e register from the content of d register so first of all the number which has to be subtracted is available in e so what we'll do first of all we accumulator will be loaded with 99 and then we use subtract e e contains a subtrahend so first of all we take the 99th complement of the subtrahend by subtracting the value from 99 so subtract e will subtract the content of e from 99 so that will be the 99th complement and then we increment the value so that we will be getting the 100th complement and then whatever is the content of d it is being added once the add had add, addition has been done with the 100th complement of subtrahend we use da instruction which is going to adjust the bcd values whatever we are getting in the form of a result or the sum after doing this addition and it will be adjusting by adding the decimal 6 into that and it will be halting the program so this is the way how this program is going to work so the subtraction of two bcd number contains two step the number which has to be subtracted first of all we take 99th complement then we take 100th complement and then we add with the number from which it has to be subtracted and once we do the addition we will be getting the result it may be in the bcd form it may not be so it has to be adjusted by using instruction da which will be adjusting the bcd value to that and terminate the program so in this way you can write the program hope you are under you have understood the addition as well as subtraction of the bcd numbers